A huge MCC dev update was recently released, detailing facts about the seasonal updates, fortune theater updates, possible change for review models for your weapons, classic audio, and double XP coming for you guys. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational update when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the channel a lot. Make sure you subscribe, keep yourselves updated. So let's get right into the content here. So as we normally do, Postums goes online, makes a huge blog at the end of the month about how everything about the MCC is changing or updating or things are going on. So in this video, I'm gonna break that down for you guys for all the important details. If you want to get everything from that, I leave a link in the description down below if you guys to read the blog yourself there is so much information i'm gonna have to break this down into multiple videos so yeah like i said guys make sure you tap subscribe to keep you guys up to date with more of those videos coming out so let's get right into it so a lot of things that people are talking about are the seasons and uh, the seasonal progression uh, initially the idea was with each release of the game would have a themed season based off of that game well you know with ce being rather light on customization certainly compared to halo reach and a lot of people are still grinding their way through the 100 tiers in the Halo Reaches season for the Noble season that there will not be a new season for when Combat Evolved is released to the MCC on PC. Uh, initially, that was the plan for each game to have its own theme season, and it looks like they're kind of backtracking a little bit on that. Understandable, just because uh, better to kind of get these games out rather than kind of create content that maybe not a lot of people would be really caring about, and something like um, you know changing your color on your Spartan it was like the only customization you could do. Other than that, I can only see like maybe making like stickers or like nameplays or something like that and those are not nearly as exciting to grind out as the customization is for halo reach but would i expect a new season to come around probably when halo 2 comes to the mcc which would probably be in a few months certainly before e3 would be my guess and so you get to keep that in mind as well guys so keep an eye out for that like I said, I'll keep you guys posted on this channel when it comes to any kind of information when it comes to a new season or customization being added into these games, guys. So make sure you stay up to date with that. Another thing a lot of people are waiting on when it comes to MCC PC is obviously Theater and Forge, for especially for uh, Halo Reach there. And it's still in development, it's still being worked on. Uh, they do acknowledge that you actually can access the Forge mode right now in Halo Reach if you kind of unlock it and do a little modding on your own end and you'd be able to actually play around in Forge and do that. I've seen a lot, plenty of videos on YouTube, people doing the same thing as well. Just check, check out a quick YouTube video. You can unlock Forge pretty easily, uh, but it's only supported by controller. So that's what's kind of holding this whole thing back is trying to get a native PC feel to the Forge elements of Halo Reach. Same thing with uh, theater as well as, as I'm assuming as they kind of use the same kind of controls. And so what they mentioned in this update about how it's still under the development, they're trying to do things like mouse and keyboard support, remappable bindings, HUD updates, and things like that. So it's not just for controller, giving that true PC experience. They do mention about how they're looking to add more to Forge than what was originally released in the game as what they're looking to call it the Thorge update when I get, when Theater and Forge release at the same time. And instead they're gonna be releasing brand new features that people pretty certainly will be enjoying. Um, I do remember a while back they were talking about new assets coming to the game as well. And um, so that'd be pretty cool. I would like to see if they can do scripting or things like that because there's so many great things, so many Forge, amazing Forgers were able to do in Halo 5 that I'd love to see stuff like that kind of transfer over to Halo Reach would be pretty freaking awesome. Um, I'm certainly missing uh, Theater and Forge a lot in this game. I think it's really kind of hurt the uh, sustainability of Halo Reach on PC as you know, Forge and Theater were very important key uh, revolutionary almost tools when it comes to console gaming and just shooters just in general. Uh, so the fact that it's still in development uh, about, f you know, we're push pushing closer now to four months after the release that uh, it's going to be, you know, kind of looking around going like, hey, where's where's the Forge? Where's the theater? I didn't think it was going to take this long for it to come out. But like I said, guys, if you want to jump in and start forging right away, they have to be on the controller if you're playing on PC. You can find a way to mod the game to unlock it for yourself. 
Now, do any of you guys remember the little indie unknown game called Halo Online that kind of swept up everybody back in 20, the summer of 2018? Well, there was a really cool feature in that game where you were able to adjust the weapon position on your screen, the uh, view model, if you want to call it that. And so then you can have it be less intrusive or just completely off the screen. You can kind of place it how you like. And so a lot of people have been talking about how when you center the crosshairs in Halo reach but the weapons are just so huge they kind of cover like half of your screen and it's actually kind of hard to uh, see what's like to the right of you surprisingly and that's what kind of a reason why they usually use the lower third when it comes to the original crosshair placements is for that reason and so but a lot of people like to use centered crosshair so what they're looking to do is to adjust the view model of the weapon uh, stated right here from the uh, dev update I'll read it as it's written just to ease off any kind of confusions when it comes to trans translation when it comes to this because it's a little technical but basically for the view model adjustments are coming along and initially we have a way to adjust the hand slash gun position for different classes of weapons along with the ability to tweak these at a more granular level in a config file. We still have additional UI work to do for this feature and we need feedback on what kind of limits we may want to put in place for matchmaking view model adjustments. Uh, we will play test and work on this feature more as a team and then roll out a solution to flighting for additional community feedback in this now this is very interesting. I think that's a really awesome idea, especially for people who like to use the standard crosshairs. Uh, so your weapon, like a sniper rifle, or especially a rocket launcher, are not completely blocking half your screen. So if one flanks you from your right, you're not gonna see them. Kind of tough there, yes. Uh, though there, I do believe that there should be some form of kind of limitations with this. Because uh, basically, I believe in Halo Online, you can pretty much have the weapon completely off your screen or just kind of centered just right in the bottom middle of the screen, kind of like how it was like in Doom in a way kind of stuff. And that just kind of looks weird, kind of funky. And uh, I think also, you know, it's unfair to people who I just like think of like the default weapon placements compared to someone who would probably, you know, who's trying really hard to like, you know, rank up, do take every advantage they possibly can. They'd probably just take that weapon completely off their screen, which would especially for like the hardcore game modes like you would see like in tournaments would look pretty weird and so I do think that some kind of limitations should be placed there uh, but obviously I would like to see it maybe be able to see if you have your crosshairs in the center maybe move it down to your ability to move your weapon down to like the way it would be if your crosshairs were in the lower thirds something like that uh, nothing too crazy but something to be a little more adjustable especially since like we mentioned before that the uh, gun models can be quite Quite intrusive in your vision. A very immersive and very important part when it comes to gaming is the audio and also with CE that the version in MCC actually uses the anniversary audio in multiplayer and so it doesn't really give you that true experience of what it sounded like back then. Obviously the two sound very different. Uh, just check out any audio comparison video that on YouTube right now you'll find that like yeah like there's some definitely some differences where maybe the new version sounds a lot more crisp a little more realistic or capturing that feeling of what the game used to bring to you. So now what they're going to be doing is bringing the classic CE multiplayer audio over for multiplayer. Sounds kind of straightforward, right? Uh, so apparently the currently in CE that they use the uh, anniversary audio in multiplayer, which seems kind of odd that they would that would happen. Uh, maybe it's just some kind of uh, latent you know, legacy kind of issue that came over when they made the game for CEA. I'm not quite sure, but now you have that option. It was flighted, a lot of people liked it and it sounded great. And so they're looking to move that forward. In fact, audio has been such an issue with the MCC since they basically had to take these files and re-encode them and it's really kind of lost a lot of the quality with this uh, audio that we've known and love when it comes to Halo. I mean, come on, the sniper rifle in every Halo game sounds freaking awesome. It would be a shame to not do it its justice. Well, so what they're looking to do actually is bring over an audio special team to help work on converting these files into the MCC. I know it's to me it seems a bit overkill but you know a lot of people have compl complained about the audio quality throughout the MCC is just not as good as the originals because of this weird encoding that they have to do for the whole thing. So they have to, now they're bringing on an entire another team, which I will be making a video on in more detail, giving you more details exactly about what this team will be doing. But basically, there's kind of like a 
you know, hired guns that make the audio sounds awesome and they're very specialized at audio in video games. So what can I do right now in the MCC? Well, you can actually get double XP right now in the MCC. Uh, so if you guys are trying to grind your one through 100 tier system when it comes to uh, Halo Reach, you still get a chance. This is the time to do it. You gotta do it now. From fr Friday, February 28th until Monday, March 9th, double XP for all across the board, for all of MCC is happening. So if you guys like this news and informational video, please make sure to tap that like button. Let us know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you think of these changes or updates coming to the MCC. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel, make sure to tap subscribe. Keeps you guys up to date with everything going on in Halo. If you're missing any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.